Hello everybody, I'm so happy to see all your happy faces on the screen today. We have another week of remote school, online school, yeah, schools are still closed. Hopefully not for too much longer because I really miss seeing all of your faces in person. Yeah, no, please keep your microphones on mute. Yes, unless I'm talking to you. Okay, thanks. Okay, so Tammy, I know is here. Reed is here. Alyssa, Alyssa, are you here? Yeah, you're here. Uh, Belvin, um, yeah, okay. Uh, Gavin, Gamer Gavin, yeah, okay, I see you. And Libby and Leah, yeah, there you are. Cameron's here. Was Gemini in? Was Gemini logged in? Yeah, okay. Uh, Tanya, Tanya's here, yeah. Uh, Pavel, yep. Beans here, K, okay. yep, K's here, all good. Is Boo here? I haven't seen Boo. Okay, great. Um, and Kurt is here. And Rena, Rena's logged in. Okay, all right. Great attendance. Okay, great. So everyone's here. All right, my little critters, my little critters. Okay, we are going to start with some English today. English, yes, we're going to work on our reading and writing and uh, reading comprehension. Reading comprehension. So, uh, I had sent out the worksheet. Does everyone have this worksheet? This one? The owl? Yes, I, the owl. The owl, yes. I sent it out to all your parents to print. To print, yes. Okay, if you don't have it, just follow along on the screen and you can always uh, write if you have a whiteboard or a blank piece of paper. You can practice with the writing. Okay, so today we are going to be reading this worksheet and it is to practice the owl, owl sound, the owl vowel sound. Boy, we can use this sound in lots of words that we encounter in our stories. And so we're going to be practicing the owl sound, O-W. Yeah, so we can write that sound with O-W. So what we're going to do, just like always, we're going to read, read the worksheet, and you're going to highlight with a marker, a pencil, underline, highlight, color in, circle all of the word sounds that make the ow sound with that O-W sound. Yes. And then we have some questions at the bottom. So let's start. Okay. So I'm going to use a yellow marker. A yellow marker, yellow marker, yep. It smells like banana, a yellow scented banana marker, but you can use whatever you have. Okay? Yes, great. Okay, so let's start. Yes, okay. So, the owl. And remember, we're highlighting all of the words we find that make that owl sound with O W. Wow! Is that an O W sound? It is. Look up at the owl. It's another O W sound. Owl. Look at how. How? That's a sound. He can turn his head. Look at his brown. Yes, yes, that's right, Tammy. That is an OW sound. Look at his brown feathers. Do you think he will fly down? Yes, very good. Very good. Read down. I said, no, the owl, there's that owl again will not fly down. I think I can hear him howl. Yes, howl. Yes, do any, you know any other animals that can howl? Yes, wolves, wolves howl. I think I can hear him howl, I said. No, owls do not howl. Owls hoot. No, no, hoot, that's an oo, oo sound but not. That's the O-O -oh sound. Hoot. Yes. Can you hear him? Very good. Okay. 
So have we highlighted all of our OW words? Yes, we have. Okay, let's read through this again. And this time, instead of focusing on the OW, let's really try to understand what the story is telling us so that we can answer our questions. Okay, here we go. The owl. Wow, look up at the owl. Look at how he can turn his head. Look at his brown feathers. Do you think he will fly down? I said, no, the owl will not fly down. I think I can hear him howl. I said, no, owls do not howl. Owls hoot. Can you hear him? Okay. All right. Yes, so now I'm going to answer the questions at the bottom. Okay. What can owls do with their heads? Yes, they can turn them. So we would write owls can turn their head. What color is the owl? Who remembers? It was an OW sound. Brown, yes. So, the owl is brown. The owl is brown. What type of sound do owls make? Make. What type of sound do owls make? Owls make a hoot sound. Okay. Owls make a hoot, hoot sound. Very good. Very good, everybody. Yes. Did everyone get the answers to the questions written down? No, you didn't. You want me to hold it up? Okay. You want me to read them out again? Okay. What can owls do with their heads? Owls can turn their heads is the answer. So owls can turn their heads. Everyone got that? Great, great. What color is the owl? The owl is brown. The owl is brown. What type of sound do owls make? Owls make a hoot sound. Okay. Very good, all of my little critters. Very good, all my little critters. You did so great. What we're going to do now is quick, quick math um, review before lunch, okay? So for this one, you're just going to need a blank piece of paper or a whiteboard if you have one, okay? So we have been practicing up how to add numbers to 10. Yeah, so remember, we did it yesterday. And these are all different ways to add to 10. Two plus eight equals 10. Seven plus three is 10. 5 plus 5 is 10, 4 plus 6 is 10, and 1 plus 9 is 10. So today, we are going to come up with that different. So how many ways can we add to 9? Okay, who wants to go first? Any volunteers? No? Okay. Well, let's start. We want to get to 9. If we have 1... What do we add to one to get nine? One plus eight, very good, equals nine. All right, does anyone have another one? Okay, three, three plus six equals nine, very good. Anybody else? Four, Plus five equals nine. Can we think?
think of any other ways to add to nine? No? Okay, well, what about two? If we had two, how many would we have to add to get to nine? No, not eight. That's right, seven. Seven. Two plus seven equals nine. Okay, and what about, ah, uh, yes, good one. Zero plus nine equals nine. Very good job, everyone. Very good job. Okay. Yeah. Did everyone copy this down? Okay, good. So I'm just going to erase it. So it's almost time for a break. So what we're going to do is I want everybody to do some independent work. We're going to go back to this and what I want you to do either on the black or a different piece of paper is I want you to write one or two sentences about your favorite bird or fish or animal, any of them. What I want you to do is write one or two sentences about your favorite animal. Yeah, so what do we have to remember when we're writing sentences? One capital at the beginning. Capital letters at the beginning of the sentence. Yes, finger spaces in between our words. And at the end of the sentence, a period, a period, yes, or other punctuation. So what kind of punctuation have we learned about so far? Periods, yes. Does anyone know another one, a second one? Yes, question marks. If your sentence is a question, you end it in a question mark. And the third one that we've seen, third one. Who remembers the third one? Third one, anyone remember? Yes, exclamation mark. So that's when, if you're excited about the sentence, you can end it with an exclamation mark. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have you work on that independent sentence one or two sentences and you can draw a picture if you want about your favorite animal then you're going to go for your lunch and then we'll meet back at 1 15 1 15 1 1 15 that's quarter after one yes you should all get a ding on your computers when the appointment's coming up so remember to come back for the next class yes and so this afternoon what we will be doing this afternoon is we will be continuing the work we've been doing in science about living and non-living things and the differences between them. So make sure you have your orange science folder for this afternoon. Okay? Okay, thanks so much, Critters, and we'll see you at 1.15.